Good day out there. It was crisp, which I asked for, and the guys uh, really responded. I thought this week's been uh, very impressive from the guys from a practice standpoint. They're locked in, working really hard. Uh, as you all know, these week ones, it, it's a long time coming. These feel like very, very long weeks. So I know the guys are excited uh, to finish the day here, get in tomorrow, have some meetings, and then get on the airplane. So excited about the challenge. Uh, we understand that it's going to be a, a very, very physical football game. Uh, it's a really good team, and we're looking forward to it. With that, I'll take any questions. Um, Conklin's concerned, will that be a kind of a pregame, taking through drills and see? Yeah, I, I think we'll see. Uh, I think I want to get through tomorrow, <clears throat> excuse me, tomorrow, see where Jack is, and then uh, make a decision. How was he towards the end of the good. latter part of the week? Yeah, yeah. really good. Practicing, uh, doing a nice job. Talk about more specialists where they'll go through the pregame to see kind of how they feel. Is that different with linemen? I mean, we've done that. Uh, no, I think every position there, there's a at times there's the game day workout. So uh, we'll see if that applies in this case. Uh, there, there are certain guys that we've done that with over the years. Kevin, is Jack going to do like team stuff this week? Yes. Okay. And if he doesn't play, are you keeping that a secret? Yeah, we'll. It, if he doesn't play, we'll uh, obviously announce it game day. My question is, what have you seen out of James Hudson that they're like, would assume as a candidate? To yeah, James is a candidate if Jack weren't to make it. Uh, but, you know, James has done a nice job all spring, all summer, uh, understanding his role. Uh, but we're fortunate to have a bunch of guys that have played a lot of football. Yeah, he's going to be out for a little while. Unfortunate. Feel bad for Greedy. Is it Martin Emerson, the next guy up? Yes. Okay. You've been complimentary of him yeah. in training camp, but how do you think he's, you know, NFL regular season? Yeah, I, I think all as we've talked about with all rookies, there, there's a learning curve and, and those type of things. But he's done everything we've asked him to do um, out here on the practice fields in the meeting room, has performed well in, in the preseason. So excited about his development told us yesterday that Demetrik's going to handle the return duties. So what does he bring to you guys in that element of the game? Yeah, I think Demetrik, uh, you know, is, is just a really good football player. Uh, we're going to use him in a bunch of different ways. Uh, obviously, the return game is something that he's done for us in the past. Uh, so excited about him. Yesterday too, Kevin, and he mentioned Miles saying he sees even a different version of him, that he's really trying to be that dominant player this year. Do you see the same? I do. I mean, with, with Miles, uh, obviously, he uh, he practices really hard. He makes life very very difficult on a in practice for an offense. Uh, so he, he's been very locked in. In terms of that, uh, what impact does that have on on Jed? I mean, is it hard for Jed to have to deal with that every single day? I mean, yes, but it's you know, Miles rushes from all over, uh, so everybody gets a gets a unfortunately has to line up against him. Uh, so I think it's great for development. Uh, you know, you want to – iron sharpens iron. You want to go against good players. And uh, I think fortunately for Jed and, and a lot of our guys, they get, you know, a really good solid day's work when you got Miles over there, Jadavion, et cetera. From a leadership standpoint, what's different about Miles? Yeah, well, he's a captain. Uh, but, you know, I, I always just want Miles to be the, the best version of Miles and, and just be who he is and lead in the way that he leads. And – uh, you know, I think with young players, and, and Miles is now not a young player, but with, with younger people, uh, what you don't want to do is be something you're not. So I, I see leadership comes in all shapes and sizes and styles and those type of things. So I've been around great leaders that don't say a word, and they just do their job, and people follow uh, because they do their job, and they do their job every single time. So with Miles and his leadership style, I'm just looking for him to be himself. Somebody like Christian McCaffrey with his skill set. How important is it to have guys like JOK and then some of the guys in your secondary who you can try to match up? Yeah, he's a very, very difficult matchup. Very difficult for for safeties, for linebackers, for corners. I mean, he really – I know we talked about him earlier in the week, but he's a guy that really can line up everywhere. He, he can line up in the backfield and run every type of run. He can run in the perimeter. He can, he can run gap schemes. He can line up in the slot run all the route tree from the slot. He can line up outside, run the entire route tree from outside. So 
uh, it's difficult for anybody uh, when you have a player like that. But we have to do our job. You know, you got to do your job within the defense and, and try to, as best you can, slow him down. It's like he's loved within this locker room. Um, you won't find a person that will say a bad word about him. Um, my, my question is, though, for, for, you know, from a leadership standpoint, and, and then also just from like an elevating play standpoint, um, you know, how much can that help considering what you guys went through with, uh, you know, having to put him in there for the first 11 weeks? Yeah, you know, it's kind of similar to what I was talking to Tom about is you just want these guys to be themselves. And, and uh, Jacoby, from the moment he's been in this building, is just that's he's being himself. And he's a very genuine person, works very hard, gets in here early. Uh, I think the players uh, enjoy being around him. He's got a, a fun personality with, with the guys. But more than anything, I think he's a great example of a player that just does the right thing every single time. Last season, what it was like not to have Kareem for the whole year. What, how has he looked? And does that explosiveness give you something that you really were lacking? Yeah, I mean, never like when you don't have one of those guys in there. Uh, so when we were with, without Kareem, uh, you know, he's a really good player. So we want to use him. Uh, can use him in a variety of ways. He looks fresh. Uh, obviously, with him and Nick, uh, I think they're ready to go. As Joe and Jesse kind of progressed in, in, in picking things up in a short period of time. Yeah, I've been very, very impressed with both those guys. They're very intelligent, um, so they've picked up the schemes very well. You set the bar pretty high for you uh, for play calling, uh, saying that the offense is going to be uh, full of fireworks. So, uh, well, you know, what's your take on that? Let's score more points than the other team. Weather Sunday is supposed to be a, a wet afternoon. So just how much does that alter uh, your what you hope to do going in? Yeah, ahead? again, I'd file that under. We'll see. we got to see what the weather is on game day. Weather changes. Uh, I know it's going to be humid. Likely going to get some rain. How much? Don't know. Uh, those you know, those are things that we just deal with. We don't control them. Chad, what have you seen from uh, Denzel Ward since he's been back? Yeah, it looks like himself. Uh, he's done a really nice job. Moving around well, making plays on the ball. Uh, I think he's uh, he's excited. He's ready to go.